little floss tube. This is me, Linda, and I am doing a little stitch and chat. Um, I'm stitching on my mini dragon in the morning by, uh, it's a heaven and earth design. And, and the artist is Randall Spangler. Um, yeah. And I think this, uh, this picture, uh, fits very well as a mini. So now I have my, uh, I'm filming with my phone and it's like right in, <laughs> in the way of everything. So, um, okay. So I'm stitching with 3865 uh, at the moment and, um, I am what you call it, 10 stitching. Two, and if you hear some water in the background, it's the aquarium. And I also have a dishwasher going, so you might hear that because I'm not using my little microphone which i usually do when i do floss tubes but this won't be like the normal floss tube this is just a stitch and chat uh it is monday the 19th of april i think it is and i'm off work today because i was working this weekend Um, I'm trying to do the full coverage um, bingo board and I've put in this uh, mini dragon in the morning on quite a few of them and then I realized that since I'm half stitching it, I need to stitch twice as many. Um, so yeah, I think I need to stitch 8,000 stitches in total. I think I'm halfway done. I think. So that uh, 38.65 was... Uh, I ran out of that so I took another thread and usually I start with the loop start when I use two strands but if I just have a short piece of thread um, I just leave a tail and cut it later. I try to do the continental stitch but if you don't have block of colors that's I find it a little bit difficult to do. So I just do whatever fits best. So let's see I'm going up here and there. But 
but I'm really enjoying this um, design. Let me mark off on. I have pattern keeper in front of me. So I'm marking off as I go and I don't think there are any closed by no to park so I'm not gonna park it I'm just gonna end the thread with another little tail sticking up and as you can see all the tails does create a little bit of a mess but I'm too lazy to you know turn my scroll frame over all the time so I just do the leaving the tail um so what's not next is seven seven five um there's one there and then there is one here and one over there so I had a really nice weekend working. It was not too much, uh, uh, what you call it, like uh, high priority things to write. So I could just focus on writing uh, stuff like letters and just normal uh, journal uh, dictations. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know those words in English. English, so we'll just <laughs> leave it leave it at that. But uh, when I work weekends, I work from home. Um, and what you just saw, what I did, I, I parked the thread. I stitched three stitches, and then I just parked it. And then I mark where I park it on Pattern Keeper. So what do I have here? I have this one, but that's a lot of... Yeah, let's do... This is 3823. So yeah, I work from home, so it is pretty nice. I just want... I need a snag nibbit. And I know I ordered one. I have bought one, but I can't find it. So I'll just have to get a new new one. They're not so that expensive. Mm. Yeah, so it's pretty nice being at home working. So now my daughter is coming out. Yeah? Nothing? Okay. She's uh, doing uh, school from home this week. So she really enjoys uh, when I'm at home at the same time. Or her, her dad too, of course. Uh, she likes to have him at home as well. Uh, so let's see. Um, yeah, so um, I'm going back to work then for two days and then I have a little bit of vacation. Actually, I was supposed to go to a soul stitch retreat. I was there this fall. No, last year in the fall. Um, but since you all know what's going on in the world, we had to pers postpone. But uh, since I was planning the vacation I was really looking forward to have five days off of work and just stitch uh, and we're having 
like that your retreat people are meeting like online instead um i wanted to to have vacation i mean who says no to that um let's see one two and three so i will kind of like have stay at home retreat and just stitch like crazy for five days and then my daughter is homeschooling uh, so she's gonna be happy about that I think it's just three 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 down the way so yeah that's gonna be very nice the thing is, when you've been away from work, like, for me, it's going to be five days. It's so hard to go back. So usually I say don't, don't have any vacation whatsoever because just keep on going and you won't, well, at least I won't feel that feeling of not wanting to go back. And it's not that I don't like my job. I love my job. But I love cross-stitching. <laughs> and being home with my daughter and the dogs a lot more, I guess. So yeah, I'm thinking a lot about what I'm going to stitch those five days like I was supposed to do the retreat if I should just focus on my mini uh, dragon in the morning or so now I'm gonna just park this one one two three four and five and six yeah because I'm also in another challenge, um, which says April push, push, push it through or something. It's in the Randall Spangler <clears throat> stitch along group on Facebook. So, and it's thanks to that challenge. I have actually stitched this much on my mini. Uh, I think when I started, I was, you can't even see it. Yeah, I was around the, the blue gems up here in the corner. So I've stitched quite a lot. Um, and it would be fun to keep pushing it. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. But let's talk about Stitch Mania. It's the last year they have Stitch Mania. And I've never ever participated in Stitch Mania. I have always, you know, done something else or like last year at this time I was building models. I was obsessed with that. And I don't know the other years. I know sometime I was away from cross stitching. Uh, yeah, and then it was diamond painting, and yeah, I don't know. So, it's going to be the first time for me participating in Stitch Mania. And no, I'm not going to start 28 new starts. But, so I have the color 996. My plan is because I decided to go crazy with the heaven and earth. I have so such a bad conscience for not stitching all my head hates. And I know I'm never ever ever going to be able to finish the majority of them. So I was just like, well, you know, effort and just I just want to stitch and enjoy as I usually say I like the progress the process of stitching 
and um, I yes I want to finish stuff of course but I want to enjoy I just want to enjoy the stitching I don't know um, so I'm gonna end the thread so anyway I'm just gonna go crazy and I'm going to do I heard someone say uh, that she is going to start a new design every weekend so that's like four designs and I decided I I'm gonna do the same thing so I'm gonna start four heaven and earths yes you heard me right I'm gonna start four different heaven and earths different yeah I'm not gonna stitch the same <laughs> design four times no um, and it's going to be if if I stick to the plan it's going to be um, three Randall Spanglers because I just love his art. Just love it. And then the fourth one I have is Eternal Promise by Matt Stewart. It's also Heaven and Earth design. And I've been having the kit for a very long time and I just went crazy the time they re-released those uh, designs. I was, yeah. The thing is, I ordered it for 28 count, which we all know that I don't really like that much, but I don't want to go and buy new fabric and threads and stuff for the 25 count. So I think I'm just going to try to suck it up and embrace the 28 count um so yeah uh eternal promise uh yeah imagine doing that as a super sized with max colors oh my god yeah but it's not gonna happen and the other one I'm going to start is also an old old one I've been having laying around for quite a while. And that is Treasure Quest by Randall Spangler. And it's the regular size. And I think I'm going to try to kind of extreme cross country stitch it on 25 count. And it's the magic guide I have so it's the one that is gridded 2020 so I don't know if it's a good choice to extreme cross-country stitch that but I think I'm gonna try because I don't want to buy all the threads for that design I have bought the threads you know some of the colors are using um, two skeins um, so I was thinking, I think it's like five different colors in that design that uses a bit more uh, of this gain. So I was thinking maybe I should try to do that. So that was that one. And it's uh, it's one of the first Ran Randall Spanglers I bought. Um, yeah, so it's, I've been having it for quite a while. So it's time to start that. And then now I'm picking another color. I'm picking 519. Um, the third one is going to be Couch Dragon, of course. I was talking about Couch Dragon in my last stitch with me. Um, and I have gotten all the threads now and I was very eager to start it but then I decided to wait for Mania. So I'm gonna start Couch Dragon and I can't wait to start it. I'm so much looking forward to it. And yeah and then there was this sale, the 50% sale on heaven and earth uh, this week was it this week no last week 
So I went a little bit bananas. I usually, if there is a 50% sale, if I get any designs, I don't always buy them, but if I do get buy something, I usually buy one or two patterns. But this time I got five. I was not having a good week. I think there's something going on with me, you know, with the mood, which makes me kind of weird. I don't know. But I felt like I needed some comfort, so I actually bought five patterns. So I bought four Randall Spanglers and one uh, Lisa Parker. Yeah. So the third and last design I'm going to start, and I just ordered all the threads. Oh my god. I don't know why, because I, I know I have some in my stash. So I wouldn't have to order them all. And it's not good for the wallet. Uh, so, yeah. But I couldn't help myself. So, the last one I'm going to start is also, like I said, a Randall Spangler. I think I've said that 20 times right now. Um, and it is Midnight Munchies. Midnight Munchies. Munchies? Mun mun munchies? How do you... Well, it is the dragon, which who is up in the night eating some snacks. And there's a big watch behind it. Uh, so you can see it is uh, midnight. And then the cat is like sneaking up behind the watch looking at the, the dragon like, what are you eating? Are you eating my snacks? I don't know. It's so cute. And it is the color expansion. When I looked at the crop, I really liked how it looked. And I decided um, I need I need that in my life. So, yeah. And I will show you all in my next floss tube where I show my my whips and stuff, I will show the designs I bought. Um, I should park it here. I just love parking. So, I said organized, but I looked at a new YouTuber, well, new to me. It's a young guy. Is his name Chris? No. Alan? No. Oh, he was so fun. He was really entertaining. Um, anyway, uh, he said that parking was uh, so systematic. And I think that's a better word for it than organized. Because it, does, it doesn't look very organized. Um, let's see... Why is that thing parked there, I say? Well, why is it parked there? Because I might just have stitched one too many. So, and the color is almost the same as the thread. I, I should have stitched it here. Uh, but I've stitched with a, another color there and it's like this almost the same as this. So then I don't, I do not frog that. I just see if I can park this thread, which is the color number 772. And that was just a one stitch with it. So I'm going to see if I can park it somewhere else. And if not, I'm just going to end it. And there was no other place which needed that color, so I will end it. So yeah, that's my mania plans. And I was thinking, I know I'm working one of the weekends, at least one, one or two of them. So then I won't be able to stitch that much. So I don't know if I'm going to like start in the weekend, like Friday evening, 
um, and then just keep stitching on that um, this sign for until the next weekend and then start the next project but then I won't be able to spend any time whatsoever on my chatelaine or my mirror eyes I'm starting to miss my mirror ability quite a lot um, yeah there are so many things to stitch and there is so little time and I really seriously want to stitch it all the one thing can't say I don't want to stitch but the samplers is not as fun as all the other things but the samplers turn out so they're so beautiful and there is often so much meaning behind these samplers so I don't want to like stop stitching them but I'm starting to not give them as much time as I did in the beginning and I'm not surprised it's me it's typical me so so you see this is going to be that word uh, in um, so there's I won't say I can't say that there's a lot of confetti not yet anyway um, in this particular design there might be some more when I get to the dragon in his face maybe his hands and the coffee mug I don't know if it's a tea mug but for me it's a coffee mug um, I'm stitching with 3078 now but there is still like especially in the green you see the green star there yeah I'm there they're like single stitches and in the the, the letters and this uh, yeah in the letters so that was four one two three four yes and there we're going down that's all oh yeah and I'm also stitching on the diagonal and at the beginning it was kind of difficult to switch over from stitching you know like uh, a grid a 10 by 10 grid and down and instead you're stitching like that way um, splitting that uh, 10 by 10 grid but now when I have a system where which way to park the threads and stuff then I, I enjoy it actually and it's nice be that you get to like stitch on the whole piece at once so that's that's nice I like that um 644 I have one more thread and I'm using these um uh, these Paco organizers. I have two of them for 90 colors. Um, it works pretty fast. I have lots of these where you park a needle with a thread in. I was trying that but I found that the threads um, Uh, was pulled off the needles I didn't like that so I don't know uh, how I know some people some stitchers are using it and like that a lot I know some people make some homemade uh, versions of it but I don't know how they keep that thread in place Because it gets tangled up in all the other parked needles with threads in them um, and when I pull a needle that thread in that needle picks up 
like the the neighbor needle would thread in and pull that thread away so i don't know how if how i'm what i'm doing wrong maybe i need to do some training how to train with part needles I think um, yeah so oh my mom is getting her first vaccine next no this week I think it's tomorrow or the day after tomorrow I was so relieved when she told me and I got my first quite some time ago but that was that the AstraZeneca and it's on pause in Sweden at the moment I don't think they're gonna start I don't think we're gonna get the second but at least I have some kind of protection so when my mom gets her second shot I think I'm finally 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 I'm going to be able to give her a hug yeah so I was so happy and my mother-in-law got her first last week and it is such a relief that we're moving forward with the mass vaccination and that the elder people are getting their protection um uh, yeah i'm a secretary and i work at the clinic of infectious diseases i've been there since the beginning of this year so i wasn't there when the all the bad stuff was going on you know when nobody really knew anything about this um but i do get to write about these patients we have and it's not only old people it's young people it is people in my own age and i guess the people who works at the hospital may maybe look understands it differently i don't know i don't know i don't understand why people still can't stay away from each other and you know keeping the distance wear the damn mask and whatever i don't understand oh, let's not go down that rabbit hole it just it makes me very depressing um hope all of you are doing fine and that you're um, enjoying your stitching I hope you're enjoying spring because it's really definitely spring now um, it's pretty nice out in the Sun um, but yeah I've gained so much weight I don't really have anything to wear so I don't like to go out I just yeah I'm trying to follow the Weight Watchers but then I have a very very bad day and then it's so difficult for me to you know 
pull myself to, self together and not go and buy something to eat. So it's a struggle. And it's not that I'm feeling better after I've stuffed my face with whatever my heart desire at that moment. So. Uh, let's see. I really want to get to this kind of this part here because um, you see the brown line here. After that, then it's the background behind the dragon. So it's going to be the night sky and there's a moon. So I'm really looking forward to getting to that. So now I'm finished with that grid. And I just wanted to make a short stitch and chat. I don't have much to say. I just wanted to share about um, the Stitch Mania stuff. Uh, I will talk about it again in my floss tube. Um, since I don't have much in my life to talk about, it's difficult to make these longs, uh, stitch alongs. But if you like to just watch me stitch and with some music in the background, I can make some videos like that. So, but I think uh, the quality here seems okay. Um, yeah. I don't know how long I've... What am I coming to? 36 minutes, so that that's enough. Anyway, I will try to... I will definitely have to make some kind of... Um, a video after next weekend when I've have my have had my stitching retreat but at home um, to show you what I've been working on so but I think I'm leaning very much on this piece to just stitch like crazy on it and get some nice progress I'm at 14.35 percent at this time so that's uh, kind of nice and yeah the th threads I'm not using I pull them in these uh, what do you call them I don't know so I to I guess to protect them a little bit so that is a very nice investment if you part <coughs> threads okay and now I almost shit my pants when my dog started to bark um uh, yeah so i think i will just end it for now um uh thank you all for um joining me in this little stitch and chat i i love having stitch and chats myself it's a very nice company and um if you want to support me and my channel um there is uh, a link down in the description for uh which is called like buy me a coffee and, and that will go to uh, to the channel straight away um if uh, you like heaven and earth designs i guess that's mostly mainly what i stitch at the moment anyway um then hit that subscribe button yeah and if you like, give me like this big thumbs up as well. Leave a comment. Tell me what you're stitching on. Um, what else? For all new subscribers, hello and welcome. Uh, for all of you who keeps coming back, thanks a lot. It's very much appreciated. And um, yeah, I hope I can start throwing out some more floss tubes out there. Um, so, uh, I just need to cheer up a little bit. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go back to my, I just love to, to look in the view by finder up here. Uh, the stitching looks just amazing. Uh, so yeah, let's stop talking and let's get back to stitching. Take care everyone. Bye.